Hey guys, Luke the Drifter here and we're driving into Sydney. So I've got uh, Kaido with me on camera and also young Zach in the back seat. <laughs> How you going mate? Pretty good thanks. Zach's big YouTube debut. Yeah. Everyone's heard about, his real name's Kai but Buck's nicknamed him Zach so we'll have to change his name now. Mm. Anyway we're doing a little um, factory tour today so we're going to see uh, Peter, he's an old mate of mine and he does all the knives for our leather work so uh, we wanted to bring Kaido and also Kai down for a while because it's um, an amazing place. Peter's a legendary guy and he's, he's amazing, you won't you see his little factory, it's incredible. So I'm really keen to show you that. And then we're going to go to Birds All Leather and have a quick look in there and um, wanted to show Kai that because Kai's become a big part of the leather work what we're doing and um, and Kaido as well, you know, Kaido's doing all the laser engraving now. So it's going to be good fellas, eh? Yeah. yeah. Not our usual scene, usually we're in the cruiser on the bush and we're in the Isuzu in the city. Yeah, my truck's in at the mechanics that got back and the main seal's gone in the motor. Oil seal and the gearbox seal's gone. So we should have bought a Hilux. Replaced those. And then I went to start up the other day and the um, starter motor's gone, so big job on the cruise to replace the starter motor so had to take dad's D-Max bloody fair income this thing is the most gutless car I've ever driven in my life yeah they used to give it to me and get it tuned anyway we've got on the back the little dot four um, so we're gonna we're delivering that for the owners uh, really nice lady lives down here in Sydney near Double Bay Leanne Duggan and um, she's been a big fan and uh, Leanne's uh, yeah, lovely lady. She's been ringing me up for about five years now, and um, always has a bit of a chat and uh, buys a lot of stuff. And her partner Sean, you might have seen Sean on some videos. He's got a um, what is it, a portal axle Land Cruiser. 79 series sitting on uh, portal axles. Yeah, 79 Rice portal axles. Right. Been really nice truck. It's been a few fan events, and this is his trailer. So just come back to, we'll show you, walk around it quickly later on when we get out. He's um, come back and we got the uh, Joker box on the front. Because he was at the fan event in, uh, I think it was Victoria. And he was showing me around the trailer and he had the old style toolbox and he's, to get into the rooftop tent, it's a long way, like a big a big step to get up there. So I said, mate, put the Joker box on for you and then put a little step and then it'd be so much easier. And also it was raining and uh, the Bunatex, not a bad little tent, I'll show you that. But um, it's got a, like a tiny little awning on the front, you know, just 200 mils. So we put a nice big awning on there, just some sail track and custom made a big awning on some poles, same as what the dot's got. So um, yeah, he's gonna be loving it. So we fixed all that up for him. Did the new pump, the water pump, all the new water system. And actually what I'm going to do is, uh, Leanne asked me yesterday if I could drop it off to Bell Canvas. So they're um, cam a, a canvas trailer company and um, out at out bit West Sydney. So we're going to duck out there and have a look at those guys. And they they do a lot of uh, canvas work. And Tim there, he's going to uh, do a cover for the trailer. So a lot of people are after covers for the, for the trailers and it's not something we can make. So we'll get Tim to make one for this one and then we'll get him to make some for the other dots as well. So, yeah, first time Kai's been in Sydney since he was, what, 10 years old, Kai, eh? Yeah, bloody hell. been down here for a while, mate. Nah, try to avoid it. I'm not there. <laughs> Old Gloucester boy, mate, this uh, Big Smokes. Bit of a change for you? Big yeah. Smoke. <laughs> the yeah, Big Smoke, mate. mate. Gloucester Why do they say that? Oh, well, it's just full of, I don't know. It's not too bad now, it used to be a lot of pollution, I suppose. And um, Kai just realised a couple of days ago that it's his birthday tomorrow. He's turning 21. So, what are we going to do uh, for that, mate? Uh, I really Saturday. don't know. I just let it pass and be another number, I guess. Mate, hey, you're 21st because he's nothing. Yeah, I might. You've got I your might do something. To pick you up today and. Um, yeah, do something along the line. We'll have to do something for you, mate. Yeah, so we're going to see Peter. Then we'll go see Birds or Leather. 
and um, Buck did a video, you know, showing our premium bag set that Kai makes up and uh, saying that the, all the leather, le the leather, the three and a half mil cow hide that we have tanned is Italian tanned leather. And um, I've sort of said that you can't buy, um, you know, there is other tanneries in Australia and birds will do tan, they, they, they do tan their own skins, they do all their kangaroo hide, but nobody, uh, from this, from what birds all have said to me, the owner of Birds All, and they've been going, for, they're a third generation company, going 100 years from what I believe. Awesome old factory and um, I mean the, the leather we use has to be a very high quality leather for, for the straps and the belts. It's a very high quality tan leather. I mean a lot of people can tan leather but it's, there's a lot of different types of, of tanning. Like, like anything, you can buy timber and you can buy all sorts of different types of timber and leather's the same. So I mean I went <coughs> to a factory in Melbourne looking for different leather. And I found some um, leather down there. It was really cheap. It was like a third the price. Like you're talking for a cow hide, you're talking 300 bucks for Italian tan cow hide. It's a lot of money. It's so expensive. But this is the best stuff you can buy. And uh, I found this other stuff in Melbourne. And they had piles and piles of this, this leather. And it was, do you remember that Kai when I bought some back? And Kaido too. He was doing axe cheese back then. It was. Um, and it was a third the price, and it turned out it was um, tanned in uh, South America, like Brazil or somewhere. And from what I found out since too, it's got a real funny grain on it, and um, you bend it over and it can crack easy. And it's um, it's it's remanufactured leather, so they sort of get all the offcuts and they somehow mush it all up and then make they manufacture the leather. So it's all made out of it's almost like chipboard, you know, with, with timber. Um, or, or MDF, you know, it's like MDF, so the quality is just crap and um, we made a few axes out of it and I realised what's going on and I'm like, no, we had to get rid of it, so I went back to the Italian tanned stuff, so we'd love to buy Australian tanned uh, leather, now we do buy a lot of Australian tanned leather, all the, all the kangaroo hide is, is tanned by birds all here in Sydney, but um, we can't get the quality in an Australian tanned uh, cow hides, so we'll, we'll ask the guy a little bit more detail about that, but uh, that's what they've told me and um, you know it's very important, we, we don't want to get a belt leather that's um, you know starts cracking or, or it's just not, I mean a belt's got to be a really really nice leather so uh, we'll find out a bit more about that and um, well there's lots of things we want to do Kai, we want to find some leather for on our new laptop case and uh, we want to get some nice maybe goat skin or pig skin like a, a one and a half two mil because um, we've only got roo hide which is 0.9 and cow hide which is three and a half so we sort of need something in between don't we have a look at that anyway we'll see pete in a minute and we'll have a look for his factory it's um he's been uh, pete's like i don't know 78 years old or something and um, he's one of the last remnants of the Australian shoe industry. He's an amazing guy and um, the knowledge that's in that guy's head is irreplaceable so I'm sort of keen for Kaido to see what he does and I'd like Kaido to end up learning how to make these knives because I'm not sure if Pete's got anyone to pass it down to. That knowledge, it's, 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 we can't let that knowledge um, pass on, you know. We've got to learn that craft of making these knives and we'll show you. And I'm in the wrong lane. Right, I wrapped yeah. the video up there. Anyway, so we'll see Pete. So he's been making, um, he's been making uh, shoes, knives for shoes for, um, you know, all his life basically. Thanks, mate. In the wrong, in the wrong lane. And, um, you know, the machines he's got, they're incredible. So the whole, you know, Australia used to make all their shoes for a long time and now we don't make any shoes anymore. So, um, bit of a shame, but that's where Peter's background is. He's making, you know, for a shoe, you've got the sole and the upper and the, the tongue of the shoe and all that used to be pressed out of leather and different materials with these, with these clicking machines and he'd be making all the knives for them. So that's where his background is. And we'll see sort of, we'll see that. All right, better concentrate on me driving, and we'll talk to you once we get to Pete's place. No worries. Oh, far out. Could hold D Max. What is it? Two point two liter. <laughs> 
Yeah, right, so we're here at Ash, Ashfield or somewhere in Sydney, not far from the airport. So this is a little DOF 4 that we brought down to deliver. And yeah, you got the bun tech on top. So, we're good to show you and set up later on. But uh, we put a bit of sour track along here and a custom awning that comes right out and, uh, and some poles. We put these on the front here, so like the dot, walk up. Poles come out, ropes come down here. And it makes a massive difference. So you've got fully full coverage as you get up and down. Um, we've got the joker box on here for him. So, uh, yeah, we've got all his, all his um, battery in here. This is already in there. So we've refit, refitted this. This works really good, the battery box. It's got a shelf on top. So the big joker box um, with the step so we can get up in there. Before we had a toolbox down here, and it was a long way to get in there. We've got the little alia box with the um, our little um, padded top on it. That's really good for a step. And we've got the uh, handrail as well. So I think we put a new stone guard on for him. Yeah, a new stone guard and a handrail. So, and um, what else do we do? I think we re-ran the water. Yeah, so we put um, all this system here on for him. So the, there was no pump before, so we we put the pump in, little switch. Only got a single tank, so we've got a single line here. External source, we've got a little manifold. And we've got the, uh, the joker here, so put all that on for him. So, yeah, I mean, it's a popular modification, the joker box with the, the pump and the water here. And um, we've done all that, so yeah, now we'll take it to the canvas place, and I'm gonna do a big cover for it. And then Leanne can pick it up, so. Little dot 241. Had a nice little makeover, and uh, back on the road again. Well, this is Peter's place. And it uh, doesn't look much, but yeah, it's a treasure trove of stuff inside here. Yeah, Pete's not here yet, so we might go get a coffee and um, come back in a sec. What do you reckon, Cotto? Sounds like a plan. Oh, wow, this Jessica Hart. I don't know if you know anything about the Victorian secret models, do you? Jessica. Oh. Yeah, you know, a little bit about that. Yeah, Jessica Hart and Ashley Hart. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're, they're home, they're old now. Who are they? That's your daughter. No, no, I mean, these are cousins, two girls. But... So, well, we better quickly say good day to you, Pete. Yeah. This is the, what's your second name? Stapleton. Peter Stapleton, he's uh, old mate who uh, got us going on all this leather work. So, good mate of Andrew Pages. Yeah. Which I'm, I'm saying Andrew tonight, eh? So, Sorry, what's that? I'm going to stay with Andrew tonight. Oh, good, that's good. Yeah, cool. so oh, anyway, go we're going to show you around and show you what he does. And we, you reckon we could, Get just look at that jig, uh, that little one there, Ty. You reckon you could show us how to make, like that jig, like make it for us? Yep, yep. Like sure. not right now, but nah. how about what we'll do is we'll just, what about just show us around? Because these boys okay. have been here, we'll show oh, us okay. around and well, um, chuck it that, That's an old I made, it's brought it back for repair and alterations. Now that's for a, uh, a mobile phone type of thing for in the mines. Oh, okay. Big business in the mines. Yeah, yeah. and you made the jig for that? Yeah, we made all that, yeah. yeah. We just had the old So that's one. the template, isn't it? Yeah, the template. That, that's We've got the... to get into mobile phone cases, eh? Well, that's what I've been making around with. Uh, I haven't come up with my... I've been a naughty oh, boy. Yeah. I've been a naughty boy. I was going to do that, it's too much hard work. Look at that. What sort of buckle would you put on that? Well, I don't want to put a buckle. We're just talking about like Velcro. Velcro. What about a magnet? Can we put a magnet on it? Well, we look, we we look at that. Uh, this is a. It's not really new. Oh yeah, that's that Velcro you're showing. Yeah, that, that's right. And uh, I reckon we're better off using that. Feel it. You don't think it'll, you don't think it'll work, right? That's like that double sided stuff we have. Uh, and the stuff. Oh yeah. It does get the fluff into it. No, I feel that sure. Because yeah. it's, it's not sharp like the other stuff, eh? Hey? Yeah, it doesn't yeah, pick up the not. dust, you know. Yeah. The lid yeah. doesn't work. Yeah. Do you want to show the boys how you use this little machine up here? This one here? Yeah. Ah, okay. Turn the lights on, mate. This is, uh, I'll just 
Which of these machines is yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, right. Tell okay. me you cut something out with that. Yeah. So what do you call that machine? We call them pattern shears, right? Oh, yeah. And, uh, you can get around the side of you. Yeah, okay. We call them pattern shears and they... Uh, so you can cut out like any pattern out of tin. Why, yeah. why do you cut it out of tin? Right, okay. So that machine there? Yeah. That's called a pantograph. It's a dual pantograph. See, if you want to, in shoes, let's just say that's a sole shape pattern. Yeah. Okay. Now, what we can do, we set up the scales and we just, from this one model, say that's size 8, we can calibrate all the other sizes from 4 to 12 or something. Ah, oh, so it okay. copies that size yeah, into yeah. different sizes. Yeah. So you put that on there and you can do all different sizes from that. No, I, I've got, got, it comes in as a paper pattern and usually the customer sends it. Yeah. We trace around it, we make that. Yeah. Then we go and mount it. And then you can replicate it with this. Yeah. Now, I've got a booty. Some incredible machines, mate, eh? Yeah. But really, these are antiquated now. Huh? Put that in there, we screw that in there, yeah, and then we just trace it around there like that. Oh, and it cuts yeah. out underneath, oh, okay, it cuts out underneath that, yeah. And you, you put <coughs> there's all your, uh, your scales, your measurements, and the whole lot. Because this company you, in the early days you couldn't buy a machine, you had to lease them, oh, yeah, and they were a big monopoly. I just come back from the states on, on this, anyway, just, I'll only put one screw in. Just two screws. So oh, how old would this machine be? Fifties. Uh, yeah. It was worth seven and a half thousand dollars without a coordinator on it. So what you do, you've got to measure measure your pattern. Get on. This is all in inches, no metric, by the way. And uh, you set the scales with these. You slide them off from here, and then you change that's model. And then if you want to go down a size, you click click, click oh, there, yeah. and, and because of two different scales being different, that, that's the width. You've got to go down again, yeah, like that. And then you just turn the machine on, power under those there. And you just trace it out. I'll mount it up properly. I'll do one for you. So it's like a nibbler. Yeah, it is a nibbler. Yeah. And actually, we we can set it up and we can cut tin with it directly. So when was the last time you sort of this machine was in operation, like full oh, on I use it now and then once a blue moon. There's no shoe, shoes made here anymore. Yeah. I've got about a, a, a computer one up there. Yeah, we'll have a look at that later on. But so I've got to give it away. No one wants it. It was seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars new. Oh. Not a, it, it's like everything else. The computers before you uh so why, why are you cutting that out of the paper? Like, is that you're just making a, another jig, are you, or...? No, well, we, they, we need the other sizes to cut the size that we use the paper to make the dies from. Ah, oh, I see. So this is just to make... Yeah, I see. To make the dies. Yeah. Well, the old, old dies we used to... So you just get all that, that's a smaller size. So you can make five size, all the different sizes, then you go over the other machine and make the jig, the knife from that. Yeah, so we take a measurement around yeah. them and then we cut. How many of these machines would there be in Australia? No, well, they usually end up the rubbish tip now. Okay. Yeah. That's the problem. There's no shoe industry. We're, we're absolutely finished. So oh, that's, yeah. that's the model size, which was, uh, was probably a size eight. That's it. And, oh, that, yeah. and that's a smaller yeah. size, size seven. Oh wow. Yeah. And then you can do that by hand too, can you, with this machine? Yeah, I'll do this. You yeah. do one now? Yeah. Well, what we do, we get a scriber. And uh, I'll go and find one. These are wonderful machines, absolutely wonderful. The Italians make one as well, 
Let's see how this oscillates, the top blade oscillates, the mm -hmm. the blade, it's not, their system's not as good, it oscillates from the bottom. Where is this, is this an English machine? Yeah, another English machine. Well, British United, we were, John and I just went to uh, Boston in America, yeah. and because he was the CEO of uh, Texan Australia or British United, or United Shoe Machine, where they started in 1901, Mm. In, in a place called Beverly, just out, not far out of Boston. Uh, they built the first concrete building with Rio in it. It was the oh, first. Okay. Yeah. And they had uh, 9,000 people just making shoe machines. Now, if I want to cut a hole or something in there, right? I can go straight in there. Oh, that's sick. How long have you been doing this for, Pete? Oh, since I was 18. I worked for Paddle Shoes, which is known as Rivers today. Which, Rivers? Yeah, in Ballarat, yeah. Okay. And Les, Les Paddle. So how old are you now? I am uh, I was born the day the Japanese left the homeland to bomb Pearl Harbor. Oh, yeah? What's 1941. 26 of that, isn't it? So how old well does that make you? 77, 78. Yeah. That's a, what they call a jeweler's roller, by the way. Can yeah. you pull it through again? Yeah. Put oh, it through the roller. That takes it all out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you put the initial and all that. Yeah. Kai's 21 tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. Hey. Yeah. Right. What's what's What date's tomorrow? It's the 15th of June. Well, tomorrow, the day after that, my uncle's 106. Oh, oh geez. Yeah. you got ages to go yet, mate. And he, he's not a prick, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, mm. this is where we get the steel from. Where does the steel come from? Well, it used to come from Sweden. They were the originators. Now, uh, I, I buy it out of China, but it comes from Taiwan. Taiwan? Yeah. So you can't get it from Sweden anymore? No, shut the shops. Just no. like that. That's Sandvik, by the way. You've heard of them, haven't you? Sandvik? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we were so it used to be Sandvik. Yeah, well, Sam was one of the little originators yeah. of it. And, uh, so you reckon you could um, make that little knife for us? Yeah, of that, sure. Of this little patch? Yeah, that's easy. This one here? Yeah. So you got to, what, make, you can work off that or you got to cut no, a bit of paper? No, 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 we have to work with that. This is what we're doing for, for uh, New South Wales leather. And I nearly got myself in a lot of trouble with this, I can tell you. Oh, there, there's your... Uh, Lift them up. Oh. Feel that? Oh. Yeah. Oh, look in there. Oh. A little to the brain. Really? Watch it that way. Holy oh, yeah, cow. Too much. Huh? Enough to break the bottom. How box. much freight was that, um, Peter? Well, I have a number that John said it was $626 and something cents. Jeez. We're glad of a mistake. We shouldn't have bought that many in. My freight. We won't do it again. We'll get them in the container. But well, we see now we're doing these bags. There's 75 bloody rivets in those things. In a single that? bag. These bags are doing. Well, that's what I want to talk to you about. So if we can get them, that they look. I'm not. I'm pretty sure that these things are sold by weight. I'm not sure. You know. Right? Yeah, yeah, I reckon they so, are. That's why we want the shorter ones because we're nipping off about six mils. Yeah. Well, are no, these the shorter ones? No, these. No, they. Fit, fit, well, I just got found out what happened. I'll explain what happened. The guy had go for it. We use in, in China. He died. He had cancer, yeah. and they cut three quarters of his tongue off. And they just thought he was going to die, and then they never run out of heart. We couldn't find out where he got them from, yeah, because this this company here doesn't make them. And, uh, so what's going on? So you reckon? No, we, we, we found out where he got them because they didn't want when when he got ordered the small quantities. He couldn't get anyone to do them for him. He oh. went to a sh one of the shoe companies that he tells he got because they had a great big order. He got it through there. Now these ones are bloody longer than the ones that you had before. Oh really? Yeah. Oh well. Not much longer, but they yeah, are. They are longer. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're not going to bloody. Um... And then there's your tools. Oh yeah. So oh, I'll okay, them. beautiful. I don't want to my own ones. We'll have. Ah, oh, so that puts the dot to flange it out in the yeah, middle, right? That's and right. then you. Ah, oh, okay. What I because that's what I. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. They just, the, the, the citizens who you find what you want or whatever you want with them, 
If you're doing so many, you probably have to look look at a machine or something to do, wouldn't it? Instead of your buddy silly. Well, that's the next question. Can we get a machine to punch some rivets? I well, probably can. Yeah, we can. But, but what that, what I want to do is a bit of a machine, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I go through them like nothing. It's just the inside and outside bit of the bag because they have backing plates on every blump. Yeah, we got to put an internal patch on it. Yeah, we can, we can we can do all. That's why I wanted a sample so we can take it. Look, it's hard to communicate with the Chinese, you know. Yeah. And not the buggers want to do their own thing too. Yeah. They all they always do that, you know. Uh, all right, and you just got back from there, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, well, no, I was more time in America. So well, well, you reckon you can quickly trace that out for us? Yep, certainly. So, how many knives do you reckon you've made over your time? Well, I don't think I can tell you that because it doesn't matter, you know. Yeah. Back, back in the hay days, we couldn't. Uh, in our, in our high days, we couldn't uh, get workers, you know, and we used to work till, you know, at least 10 o'clock as in Mars Street, Chippendale. And, uh, where's me? Where's me? That's all. Uh, I better go and get me right glasses. There's something to look at. Wow. Oh. They ma they're magnets. Yeah. Can we have some of them? I'm going to pick a few things out of here, Kai, like these sort of things. Yeah, that's, that's what I want for our glasses case. Want to do a glasses case, Kai, eh? Magnet? Oh, that's he's good, eh? Because that's like, what we need for the iPad case. Yeah, it was Because the button's too strong, you know? Like that? I've seen a glasses case. It's, it's got a big bit of velcro. I hate velcro, yeah, eh? Yeah. So. Different ones. Oh, we'll borrow that. Yeah. And we'll yeah. take it home and we'll, bring, we'll get it back to you. We're going to send some jigs down. We didn't bring them all. Kai oh, forgot half the stuff we're supposed to bring. Yeah. So, yeah. so make sure you bring all the jigs, mate. Like, oh, he's bringing jigs. Oh, no, bro. I forgot that one. Oh, he's bringing the jigs. No, bro, I forgot that one. Yeah, let's chuck them there. You've got to take that. The size is not real critical no, in this. No, that's all good. This is an easy job, this one. Yeah. With this business, something small. Could take a long time to do. And something, to, um, and when you get to the big ones, that's a hacksaw blade. Oh yeah, but they're you not. Make yourself, did you? Yeah, we make them all the time. But the trouble is today, it, the hacksaw blades are done with high frequency hardening. Yeah, you got to get the old ones. Oh, okay. Yeah. They don't make stuff like they used to, eh? That's just exactly mm -hmm. right. Need that to know what it would have cost if I had to use by FedEx because I don't spend much money with them. So John's like your business partner, is he? Oh, we're just mates. Yes, yeah. we look after each other. You know, we, we all we start off as enemies. I met him in 19, when he was about 18 when he first started for a company and I was in Mass Street Channel. He's big, he's six foot, four bloody big bass. He had big skinny bloke. He's not skinny anymore. I had a spotter's fee for selling clicking presses with them because they used to get $500 and, I, and me and Wenzel, the guy before, was in charge, we just had an agreement between each other, a handshake, and I, I'd sold three presses. I rang him up and I said, well, where's my spotter's fee? He said, what are you talking about? And he said, uh, I said, I had a spotter fee with E and he said, in writing? I said, no. Said, well, too bad. <laughs> I, said, I said, I'll bugger you blokes. I'll bring my own in. So I did, then they didn't like that. Ah. So, so they come to the party. And then since that, we've been friends. Oh, cool. So you're still working in Inter, are you? Yep. The, the Why region. didn't you go to the metric system? Like, what? didn't they do that like 40 years ago or something? No, well, the, the problem was happening, see, the shoe industry was supposed to change, it didn't change. Uh -huh. See, all, that machine up there is all, met, uh, all, all imperial. Okay. Yeah, right. And, uh, it's uh so every jig that you've made for us this is what you do yep well we must have 150 jigs now yeah. Kai, eh? uh, how many how many uh yeah that's we'll see okay i'll explain something you made some good bloody dolls of us mate yeah that's right well you were having a go at the own uh, that's double edged steel so yeah. it's sharp both ways yeah. so, so you don't have to buy a left and right knife oh yeah okay uh they don't last that long okay because in the shoe industry, every six months they used to throw all the, the styles out and start again. 
and that's 2.5 as the thickness. This is two millimetres because it's not a big die. It's only two millimetre thick. And this, this depth is important too, eh? So all our dies are the same depth. Yeah, you've got, well, yeah, that's right. And that's 19 millimetre. That's used mainly for shoe industry. And it's double edged, so they, they only have to buy a half amount of dies. That's a, what you call a gimp die. If you want to show sample levers and things like that, oh, yeah. see the little the serration pink, on yeah, it. Yeah, oh, pink. Yeah. Gimp, we call it gimp. It's a pinking thing. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. Well, you tell Andrew I'm having a lot of trouble with these bloody horses. Yeah. What's going on? Is they run on the weekend or what? Well, I suppose Barry tried a day, but they run the bloody thing lame the other day. Then he rang me up. He said, it looks like she's still lame. Well, okay. <laughs> First place that those tools, this, these are sanding by the way, sanding oh, yeah. bending machines. Yeah. So that, they, they were the originator of all this, uh, all this. And so, but I, I just stick with it. Now, you can either change the tools, yeah. okay, and we've got another steel that they call textile steel. It's three times the price of you know, Alright, I'll bend that one around. This steel comes from Taiwan now. I buy it out of China. So in other words, it probably goes through about three hands before I buy it, but it's cheaper to buy it that way because of freight. Mm. Freight is a killer. Do this, but I'll tell you, I'll just show you what we do with your knives because they're so bloody big. A big knives, yeah. Yeah. But it's only now, this knife. I'd only use that, you know. It's quicker. And you didn't have shops open, because we, we used to use sticky tape. We run out of sticky tape. We didn't oh, know. Okay. We, we didn't know what to do. Yep. We used them, and we found them so easy, even though we, we originally. Yeah, that's going to hit there. I'll just do that. But this, as you can see, so pretty hard to get young fellas to work on Saturday, Sunday these days. Well, get why them. do you reckon that is? Well, it's hard to get one to stay at the bench for a bloody half an hour now. That's what we find. The opposition here is a gold seal. Yeah. I've got to go. The opposition turns around. This is what I've got for 40, 50 years ago. We give up trying to train people, people. Just forget about it. See how it's done, mate. Is that what you thought it'd be like making no, this? Hey, it's hard to imagine how they're made, isn't it? And this is just a basic square shape, a rectangle, yeah. but of course he can make any shape, eh? Hey? He makes all sorts yeah. of crazy shapes. Yeah, good, good young people. I, I can remember when we were... So I just want to show you the cl clips. Yeah. But only for small dies. Was it, as I said, yeah, small dies may have to get forged done and all that type of thing. Some dies get very, very, very in intricate. So he, he got them from there, we'll just find out where he got them from. It took a while. Yeah, that, uh, when we went to Beverly, Beverly just, out in, in, uh, just out of Boston, uh, this is the, uh, this factory and the, they built this building was the first time I've ever had, they had a building made out of uh, with concrete with reinforcement still there today you would think it's a modern building yeah. <laughs>
got the compressor on, it's run by air. I, I could have cut that off with that machine. Oh, yeah. 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 Got uh, two, one, two, three, four, eight blades on it. Just pull it out and turn it around, eight blades. What are you doing now? Right up. What are you doing now? I'm going to weld. Oh yeah? Yeah. Gun welder too, eh? Yeah, I don't know. Right. Yeah, that's all. Oh, What's I'll this thing? I'll have to start the uh, compressor up. Hang on. Alright. He's really welded here. Just basic little... Stick welder. Where's his welder? Yeah. Oh yeah? That's it. You the compressor, have you? Yeah. Designed to do moccasin boots, you know, the little trim around the top of the shoes. Oh, the yeah, the yeah. Top. yeah. And uh, one bloke took it and he, he, he loved, loved it, but he, apparently because of what it does, a jump. I don't know, he can bloody take the thing. If you can get it to work, you're going to have to bloody do it. What's the machine on that work these days? That was 70, I don't know, that was 75 grand. 75,000? Yeah, those days. That's what, that's what they pay for. Alright, see you there he goes. So you've been doing this since you were 18? No, uh, well I've been in the shoe industry since I was 16. Oh yeah? Uh, they put me in the pattern room, so I'm actually a shoe designer. Oh yeah? Um, did you do anything for like R.M. Williams or anyone like that? Or? Well, I did them all. Yeah? In the old days, yeah. R.M. Williams is owned by um, What's his name? French bloke. Yeah. Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. We've just done some work for him in these crocodile farms up in Queensland. Oh, yeah. And he, uh, you can't buy his crocodile skins. They won't sell them. Oh, okay. And I asked him to do a proper job. I said to the girl, I said, look, sit, for me to do a proper job, just send down a crocodile skin so I don't, because I don't know what the horns on the yeah. skins are. And uh, she sent them down to me and I finished the job. And, and the whole lot, and I, I said, well, gee, that's a nice skin, oh, you can have that. I said, too late, it's in the box going back. I said, I'll get you another one. So I haven't seen it. This is the best thing I ever brought. This, and those guillotines. So I, I wasn't getting home at night, and I brought them all sight unseen in 89. And uh, the best thing I ever did. These are stainless steel rods. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, this is a, 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 a this, this is a, just a, uh, this is a DC weld converter, that's just an arc welder, so we can first, so we get a direct current. Mm-hmm. Don't look. Right, okay. Pretty good little mask you got. Yeah, it's nearly as old as me. You can't buy them anymore, that's all to keep, keep, keep them alive. What we do, they come you right. You had OHS come in here and look around. Oh shit, no. <laughs> <laughs> See that that that's you know how the shields are really made like that. Yeah, well, they're in our way all the time. So we get rid of that. I just did a spot well there. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah. So yes, it's, it's got to be stainless steel well. No, 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 it doesn't have to. Yeah. Yeah. You were going to give me a hammer, remember? And I didn't end up taking it. You did. Did I? Yeah. You remember the hammer with the little square ends on it? Yes. Oh we yeah, do we did take it. Yeah, yeah. You using that, are you? Yeah, we use that to... You probably won't be able to buy that either. I gave that to Kai for his birthday. Right. Yeah. Okay, I'll better, better go and cut a brace for this. You'll need a brace for that. Yeah. How do you reckon you'd go train up one of these long head louts? Would you do any good? Yeah. I can train them up. No worries about that. Would you, like, put kids on with hair like that, you reckon? Would you give them a go? So if a different. kid turned up looking like that, like in the old days, would you give them a job? Dreadlocks and hadn't had aircon since he was 14. <laughs> no problem. I've got a grandson that's got a half of his hair, there's only 10 in half, his bloody hair shaved around. I said, Christ, who, who want to pay for that? I said, I'll do it for nothing for you. No, you're not coming there, really. <laughs> this is that part of those machines that I said I'm the best thing I ever did. Oh, yeah. We used to cut off the hand guillotine. Oh, Just a guillotine. Yeah. yeah. They're all Italian. 
So the, the big manufacturers in the old days were the English and then the Italians and Germans, eh? Ah, uh, well, the English weren't, weren't into the dye making bit. The, the, oh, okay. the, the English were mainly into uh, in, in shoe making machinery only, right? This is a, a different system. Oh yeah, a little press. Hmm. That holds it? Wow. Look at that. Right, not bad. Yeah. So it's a... It's a MIG, is it? Yeah, MIG. They told me never to sell this machine. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, this is an easy guy. Yeah, we've given you a simple one. Oh, yeah, boys, you could be here for hours sometimes. I can work on a guy for three days. That's one one guy. guy. Yeah. That's, that's where we join. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, what we do, we leave a little bit of material there so we can seal it all up. Yeah. Now, we can't, cutting leather, if we left it like that, the little fibres of the lever will get in there and the dial will break. Oh, okay. Mm. So you got to weld that up. Uh, uh, no, sir. I'll solder it. I'll solder it. I'll so solder it. The, the lever will push up in there and yeah. then push more and more and then break it. You've got the mushroom effect. Yeah. Those dies just in there, they cost me $200 each. That's how much I used to charge. I can't remember how much that cost. You can buy one of those six things like that for, so for 20 bucks like in um, China and probably a die thrown in. Yeah. So China's changed everything, eh? Oh, China, the people are starting to move out of China now. Yeah? Yeah, too dear. Too expensive? Yeah, well, they go to Vietnam and places like that. Okay. And this, well, they've got a lot of labour laws in there and things like workers' compensation, which they never used to have years ago. How's Trump going? Trump, I reckon he's great. Bloody hell. Well, when I was in America, <coughs> I was listening to the news, and this is when the Mueller report came through, and uh, he, uh, I, I think it was the Fox uh, radio uh, media. What's Fox News there? Yeah? yeah, and then, anyhow, I, Tucker Carlson. I don't know. <laughs> anyhow, I, I uh, just listened to it, and I said, "Oh, he's got him by the balls." Then I flipped over the uh, to the next station, and, and then you get the opposite bloody news, yeah. complete opposite. Yeah. Right, I've got to go. Fake news, mate. I've got to set up. Turn... No, I've got to go. Here's another thing. I can't buy a bloody decent soldering gun anymore. Oh, okay. We had an Australian company, mate. I, I repaired it and repaired it and repaired it. And uh, they couldn't get any more parts. And it was absolutely fabulous. CIG or BOC took it over. So that's soldering, is it? Yeah, silver soldering. Very expensive stuff for that now. Because it's got silver and gold in it. Okay. If you don't do that, the edges will roll in. Okay. So you're, hard, you're really harding it. Then Now, this is the messy part. This is where all this was. Is that a quench bar? It's just with this paint. Oh. Uh, I just moved all that to here. Just leave that. That's an actual. That was in the bloody toilet before, wasn't it? Yeah. All that stuff. I just cleaned up uh, at least 25 years of bloody paint in there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. an acid e paint that eats in. Oh, okay. And the thing. Oh, you can smell yeah. it, eh? Yeah, nice, powerful stuff. And that's it, eh? Done. That's it. Yeah, just wait for the dry. 40 bucks. Thanks for coming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's an easy one. <clears throat> oh, that's powerful, eh? Oh, right. oh well. Now. What else can you show us? What about um, I'll go take you upstairs. all your secret machines upstairs? Upstairs? Yeah. Right. Mate, you've only seen like... Hey, I better show you this. 
We'll have a look. It's at um, Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. We're going to see them today, so I'll oh, ask them. Yeah, go, go and grab it because it's not going. Look, no. Okay, they're expensive, right? I told you about yours. I rebuilt yours. Mm -hmm. I'll never do it again because they wanted for the pump. Now, this is what I've got to tell you. The pump was uh, 3,200 something euros. That's seven grand. I think, I think we paid about 750 for the pump we put in. Mm -hmm. So these are made in Denmark, like, how old is that, you reckon? Uh, 45, yes. Yeah, and what, what sort of pressure comes out on that? That's 20, I think this is 25 ton. Right. Would you sell that one to me? Yeah, I'll sell it to you. Well, don't sell it to anyone else, right? Keep it for me. This is, um, we might need that, Kai, what do you reckon, mate? That's great. Once we get our production line really happening. Yeah, that's, it. that's a pad printer. Yeah, what does it do? Oh, it's uh, it actually you can and, and put a name on an egg. That's how they stamp. Oh, okay. Mm. Printer. Yeah, pad printer. That's for shoe trade, so you'll need her. That's that's the laminate toes or lining, toe puffs or lining. Okay. That's the back part molder. That's a cool machine. Yeah, Where's... that's uh, uh, heat heats up here, right? Right, heats up there, and that's refrigeration there. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's, that's the, heated. The, yeah, that's heated. You heat, heat the back of the shoe there like that. That's the, yep. oops, that's the stiffener. Yeah. You heat it all up there and then you take it off there. And this is all frozen. You just put it in there, bring it out, and then freezes it. Oh, wow. When was the last time you used that? I can't remember. China, we brought them in. Let's see, we don't even make glass here anymore. We don't do anything anymore. Yeah. You do a drifter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we make lots of stuff up there. You've got to come and have a look sometime, Pete. I will. I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll speak, get you up if, there. If you get that out of press there, I might, yeah. uh, well, well, actually, I should go and have a look at it for you. See if I can get it going. What's Singer machines like? Are they, are they uh, Japanese or English? Uh, they're, 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 these are German. Path. Uh, well, how do you say that? Path? They're PATH. They're German. Yeah. Right. Uh, they're great. They're automatic stitches. Okay. But I, look, I don't think they're any to you because you're uh, heavy, you're stitching heavy stuff. That's only for lightweight, right? What the hell's that machine? That's a... Uh, Whoa, what the hell? These are German machines. Uh, you can't, can't give it away. God. Can't, and that was 185,000 new. Yeah, did you buy it? No, I didn't buy it new. I brought it, but I didn't buy it new. I got it for, I think... What got, does this machine do? Okay, it's... See your toes and the shoes, you put it in there. Yeah. It's all heat accurate and, and injection, injection uh, glue, right? Oh, it's Comes glued. through here, see here, it's all heated up. Yeah. Bang, and it wipes it out and it wipes the front part of the shoe. That's it? That's it, yeah. That's all it does? Yeah. And this is that ever been used. This is a dryer. I tell you, I wouldn't like to turn them on today, this thing. The electricity bill will spin its head around. Is that Italian? Oh, uh, yeah, it is, actually, yeah. Yeah, that's Italian. And my new invention, what I got, you don't, you don't need them anymore. And these, these are something you can't give away. It's, first, the price of this was 750000 Wow. You can't give it away. So that's an electronic plotter, is it? Or? No, no, it is a, a uh, well, actually, it's design, this was originally designed to do maps and all that. Mm -hmm. But it's a, not only a plotter, it, it, it mills, and it cuts, and it draws. Uh, you know that old that machine I just showed you there, mm -hmm. it's the grading machine, yeah. the pattern and the iron pattern, that's what this does. Oh. And uh, I, this computer here, this is, oh, I'll go back, the original computer with this, and yeah, this is all part of the original, that's the original computer, tapes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll show it to you, 75 grand. 
And I think for I'm one, one computer. Right. You know, if, um, watch that step, boys. There. You, you got a use for some of that leather? Oh yeah, look at that toy. What sort of leather is that? That's upholstery leather. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. One of my mates got himself into trouble. Oh geez, uh, ten years ago. Well, I don't know, can't remember. Got himself into trouble with the taxation department. See you. Yeah, he's gone. He's an arsehole. On that plate. So who do you go for? Are you a South Sydney supporter? I'm a Victorian. I'm a Swans. You're it's bloody Mexican. Yeah. Well, I come for Ballarat. Look at that. What's that? Uh, rugby league? 86. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, wow. Where'd you get that from? They're my daughters. Greg Alexander, Belcher, Bella, yeah. Cleel, Daly, Bradman. Davidson. Bradman. Wow. Just rang me the bloody last night and he said, oh, she's lame again. Oh, fuck. I won't take up there. What's up there? Look at that, boys. Oh, no, office up there. There's a lot of junk up there. Don't lift up. No, it spins up. It spins up. Yeah. And see this. What's this is a uh, Trescott shoe factory in Collingwood in, in about 1925. In Victoria. In Victoria, Collingwood. Yeah. And see the stools. They've got little the stools with little lugs on them. Yeah. Okay. Now, what sort of shoes they're making? Looks like they're making men's shoes there, like derby shoes. And see these poor little girls here. Mm -hmm. I know what they're doing. See all this down on the floor, all those that's linen lining. They're trimming with scissors with their hands, oh, which absolutely kills your hands, believe me. Yeah. And they're not like, if they had scissors like this in those days, they, uh, they would be a dream. Yeah. See this big line going down there, see that? Yeah. That's a drive belt. All those sewing machines in that line are all driven by that one belt, no motors underneath. Yeah. What year was that, you reckon? About 25. So before your time? Yeah, long before my time, I was 41. This place just keeps going. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? Where? So are they shoes come? you used to make? Oh, we only mucked around, we didn't go on reduction. We were only mucking around. But I'm, I'm more into the women's. I say it. Those um, patterns, um, but the paper patterns, I actually left with you. You're not using the stuff, would you, Jane? Oh, okay. Oh, I wouldn't really wear that. No. <laughs> Yeah, cool. So that's something you made here, Pete. And yeah. you reckon there's like 20 different knives for one yeah. one sh yeah. one size? Yeah, that's 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 right. Yeah. And then at each size, you have to have another 20 knives. That's right. Wow. That's it. So and the, the, so a boot like this probably stay in production for probably three years, I'd say, maybe a little bit longer. But a lot of the fashion stuff, six months, bang, gone. Or put them in a rubbish bin. And then and the jigs are no good anymore. No. Yeah. Tough game, mate. Yeah. So I was going to. I'm still thinking of setting up some work boots here. I'd still like to make women's shoes. I really do. I'll show yeah. you what I've done. Take that book. How much did they used to pay you when you were 16 when you started? Uh, Four pounds ten a week, that's nine dollars. A week? A week. Ten shillings, uh, uh, two, two shillings uh, tax. So these guys are... Nine dollars a week I used to get. Forty hour week by the way. Overpaid, you reckon the boys these days? You certainly are. <laughs> what did you buy with four pounds? Nine bucks a week, did you, oh, okay. did you buy like a bike or you could run your own car and stuff like that? Oh, can new I, turbos? Well, yeah. I think a, a new TV was worth about uh, seven, 700 pounds. 700 pounds for TV? Yeah, and I think a hold... four pounds a week? Yeah, and I think a, a hold and car was about 900 pounds. So how, how old were you before you could afford a car? Well, I was 18, I had a car, I had a 1937 Oldsmobile. Oh, yeah. It was a bloody good vehicle actually because it was put on blocks for the war and it wasn't brought back to the 50s. Okay. Hmm. Could you do burnouts in it? Uh, probably back could, then? yeah, probably could. Were you into that sort of thing? Yeah, of course we used to do it on gravel roads. <laughs> Christ, we're, we're bloody bushes. You just... <laughs> but we're going to Birdsville, right? Okay. We're going to Birdsville next, so I'll yeah. have a look at that and see what we can get. Can I, can I take those? You can get them. As long as there's any long rivets in there. So these ones, we're going to leave these with you, right? Yeah. 
So that one, don't worry about all the markings on them. No, not no. the writing, just the holes. Yeah, that's it. Yep. And that one. Yep. What else, Kai? What about one. the jig for the um the handles? Yeah. Just oh, that's that right. So there. I, I we'll bring that one in here and we'll show you. Yeah, we're, we're going to draw that up before you go. Okay, okay. so make sure. bring the bag in, Kai. Cool. If you just no, go. Well, you, while you're drawing this up, I'll have a look, eh? Yeah. Oh, that's right, the measurements down the strap on this other one with this one. Well, you know the, the length of that, do you? Yeah, I know all the lengths and all that, where it is. 8.8 kilos, apparently. Mate, I'll take that one handy. Well, I don't see you picking it up, mate. Alright, I will. So, how many's there? 5,000? No, well, yeah, well, that's what we ordered. So, we need, you're going to get us another five, but get them in the container, right? Eh? Yeah, yeah, that's right, but I cancelled that order. Okay, right. Right. No, get another five. Okay, well, well that's six weeks away at least. Yeah, okay. We'll need it. We'll be through these then by then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. All mate. those, mate. Yeah, I'll go through so many now with these. This will two last us a month, so get them other five coming. Down. All right, sounds good. Well, well, I, I just thought to save you from cutting them if you're going to do them. Anyway, that's no, all right. We've got it because we've got. Sometimes through, we've got all different thicknesses, okay, you know. Right. Mm. All right, what if I think the, that's ours. The sit, here it is. Can we get uh, the 15 mil would be better for you? Yeah, 15 is better. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Right. The smallest they make is 15 mil. So that's, now. I don't know what you want us to do with those. You want to go back and experiment with yeah, those? Yeah, I'll we'll try it. I have a feeling we'll I might this. bend it over a little bit. We'll yeah. play with those. And, uh, and they're great, they're great on. Oh, I can't wait to use them. All right, okay. They're, they're, well, you tell me which one you want to use or what we will we'll we'll tell us what they are we'll play so, around with as them. i said that's that put that back in there, right. Right. In there. so uh, that in a container costs 20 bucks basically because it's in a could be mm. nothing you know because in a container all this other stuff i better get air freighter from china for 600 dollars 670 bucks but it's what you're doing it, it mate you know just keep the drift the bags it. going mm. That's it. Can't tell everyone around the rivets. Well, that's it, buddy. I had a whole handful there, and then I did one bag, and I had four left. So yeah, it takes. Where's a my lot, bag? So. You want to grab me bag, and I'll carry yeah. this. I'm waiting for John. Yeah, six hundred and seventeen dollars and twenty six. Whoa! But there again, we're still at least six away, weeks away from right. our container coming. Well, thank you, mate. Really appreciate yeah, it again. Good. That's our fault. Yeah, thanks for showing these boys around. Thank that's you good so time. much. Yeah, you have to tell me where you got your, your jumper from. Well, it's my jacket. It's made here. Right in this factory. Yeah? You made yeah, that? Beautiful. No, I remember I started to tell you about the guy who uh, had trouble with the taxation department with that lever up there? Oh, yeah. Uh, he, he made it. I, I let him come here for two years and I said, you've got to start paying rent now after two years. One must be pissed off. Oh. Yeah. How's it going? How's it going?